Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com In this tutorial, we'll look at how to write a macro that will loop through all the files of a folder It will open each one up, perform an action and then save and close them Now I have a folder on my desktop which we're going to use for this example, it's called Excel Files and it has five files within it just coming back to our Excel here within our Visual Basic I am in my personal macro workbook to ensure that this will happen globally in other files that I use and this is the code that we have you can access this code from the link within this this tutorial within this video uh, that will take you to this code but just to give a little explanation of it in this video the the key aspects of these three variables to start with we have one variable that's going to store uh, the, the folder that the user has entered, the one they want to loop within. We've got another one that stores the name of the file. That will be obtained by a DIR function, uh, this directory function. Um, you provide this function with a, with a specific folder, with a directory, and it will return the first file from that folder, and then we can use it to iterate through each one. So that is the key thing about this this whole procedure this whole macro but we will store that in the my file uh, variable we then have another variable that's going to store the workbook which is going to give us the ability to open it up you know do things save and close it it's going to work as a kind of alias for us now next up we've got how to select the folder the user wants to use and we're using the file dialog here of application gotta love these you know these file dialogs we're using the folder picker one so it makes it absolutely you know, really easy, really user friendly for a user to select a folder. Now we could have used an input box, we could just use a string here, but you know this would be the one that users are most familiar with and would make it a lot easier. A little if then else statement in there embedded to ensure that the user does select a file uh, a folder. We'll then capture it in that variable as mentioned earlier, dot selected items. And we've concatenated a backslash in the end. You have to have that backslash. Really easy to forget that and then it all falls apart. So that is in there so that the user doesn't have to worry about putting it in themselves. And then the DIR function does its job. It's been supplied with the folder. It will go in, get the first file and hand it to that variable so that we can then loop within there. Say so do this until you run out of files. Do this until the, it doesn't return any more files. It must have run out. Open the book up do something, let's change that, it's right in there 60 at the moment to sell A1 of sheet 2 uh, I'll change that to write computer gaga we go well, and we'll save that down and then we'll iterate to the next file, DIR without any arguments and we move to the next file and it's my file and around we go again open it up, right computer gargoyle on sheet 2, save and close, around we go again. So as I say, this code's available in the video's uh, uh, description, feel free to, to have a look, follow the link and take that. Uh, this line here currently selected is what you'll need to change. You know, everything else is kind of general use here, that's where your statements are, whether you're calling another procedure, whether you want to write in your own uh, statements in there, that's the bit you're going to want to change, everything else we have the aspects of how to loop between all the files of a folder in here. Uh, let's have a look at it in action. I can click my run subuse form button at the top. That should prompt me with this file dialog, this folder dialog, this one, this folder picker. Uh, I can select my uh, Excel files folder on my desktop. Click OK. And there it goes. I can see it running through on the left, running through each one, doing what it does. And that is that finished. Let's go and check one out. I'll right, pop that to Excel. Let's open up a, a file. To Excel files. Let's open up this. I can have macros one. Let's see what we've got. Sheet two. There we go. A one. It's got computer gargar in it. And um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. That is a uh, some VBA code to loop through all the files within a folder. A really, uh, you know, really common, fantastic uh, kind of repetitive task. 
please check out some of our tips and tutorials at computerguardguard.com.